how I became a professional pickup artist. How on earth did this happen, guys? How does one become a professional PUA? Approaching tens of thousands of gorgeous women over three decades, traveling the world, teaching guys all over the world, building a 200,000 following on YouTube. How does that happen to, to one man? Um, I'm gonna give you my quick story tonight and let you know what happened here. Let's see if I can pull in real quick. Okay, so uh, basically what happened was the way I got started in game and pickup uh, was I was trying to get married, believe it or not. I was trying to duplicate my parents' success because my parents have now been married actually officially for 50 years. Crazy, right? My parents have been married 50 years now, just celebrated their 50th year anniversary. Um, successful marriage. Um, when we were younger, they fought a lot, but uh, they're still together. They, they stayed together because they loved each other. What can I say? It was also a different time. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of like third wave feminism going around uh, and women still acted like women and men still acted like men and my dad was very alpha and my mother was very feminine so it was and still is a very very great relationship for them so the way i got started in game was i was trying to duplicate that and my whole thing was when i was in high school i was like okay i'm gonna go to college and i'm gonna you know, I'm going to start looking towards getting married. I'm going to start preparing to get married. And my thing was, I wanted to get the most attractive looking, obviously the best, you know, the coolest person also, but I also wanted the most attractive looking female I could possibly get as well as cool, right? Because my mother is very attractive, very pretty, beautiful woman. Um, and I'm not even just saying that she's really, you know, really really attractive and stayed beautiful um, so I wanted that I was like oh I want that too so initially I got started approaching girls because that's what I was looking for and we didn't really have like very beautiful girls in my social circle at least the social circle I was a part of I mean I always had to go outside of my social circle even to this very day I constantly go outside of my social circle now I mean they're more obviously there's like a lot of gorgeous women in my social circle but all of those girls were a result of cold approach. I met all those girls through pickup and game. Every girlfriend I've had, I've never met through a friend or through my social circle or a dating app. I've always met them through straight cold approach pickup. As I teach you guys too, right? As I teach you guys too. But uh, initially I got started in game because I was trying to find a wife, man. I was trying to find a wife. And whenever I'd see a girl that was really attractive, really beautiful, uh, what motivated me to go talk to her, the thing that motivated me was I wanted to get married. And I was like, oh, she looks like she could be Mrs. Cross, right? She could be Mrs. Cross. And uh, fortunately, too, a lot of these girls had pretty good personalities. Uh, yeah, I mean, these days it's harder to come by, right? But a lot of these girls had pretty good personalities. And so we got along in that sense. It was just a matter of like, okay, I just want to find somebody who's really beautiful, attractive, like my mom, and uh, I want to get married. So that is where it started. And the thing was, like, I fumbled a few of my first early relationships, and I had to get back out there and meet another girl. And, I mean, it's not like this wasn't intimidating back then, because back then there was no no pickup artists to learn from. There was no YouTube or mainstream internet. You kind of had to go out there and figure it out for yourself. So me being a young man, right? Me being like 18, 19 years old, trying to figure this out. I was literally straight up walking up to girls and just doing the best I can, right? And it would always be a girl that I was naturally attracted to. I could feel a connection with, and that was gorgeous, right? I mean, very much what I teach you today. I. I I don't teach you guys to have sex with a girl world or just go after any random hot girl. Um, no, I teach you to filter it down and go after the girls that you really like, the girls that you're really attracted to. Because if you don't and you just try to have sex with the world, that is how you get yourself in trouble. That is how you knock up some club whore or some, no, some bar trash chick and end up having to pay child support for 18 years. 
that is how that happens, guys. You've seen it happen to a lot of PUAs out there. Even the top PUAs that I've competed against, it happened to them, right? They knocked up some, some slut, right? Some thought, and now they're stuck with that kid, right? And that kid is gonna grow up in a broken home now, you, you know? So um, I never made that mistake. Also, I never caught any STDs. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, I never caught any STDs. And I credit that to being very, very picky, as I teach you guys to be, right? I Again, I don't teach you how to have sex with the world. I teach you to go after those girls that you feel that natural chemistry and connection with that you can really kind of just feel like there's something between you and you have to explore that. So um, that is how I got into pickup and game initially. I was trying to find a wife and I would constantly like fumble those relationships to where I would be back out there and I would be finding the next girl and the next girl and the next girl. And I noticed the more I repeated this pattern of behavior, the better I got at it. So the better, the more I had to like, I got, you know, dumped in a relationship and I had to get back out there and meet the next girlfriend and the next girlfriend, I got better and better at approaching. I got less intimidated, I was more confident in myself, and then it became a skill set where I actually got good at it. And I was able to like literally to go out with my friends, we'd see an attractive girl, I could go talk to her, I could make that girl, I could turn that chick into my girlfriend within a week, and it was kind of funny, right? It was just kind of funny how fast I could make that happen, but I wasn't able to hang on to them. You know, admittedly, because I was still blue pill and I was making a lot of, uh, very common mistakes that most guys make, even to this day. A lot of these guys, believe it or not, are still making the same exact mistakes I was making, you know, back in my late teens, early 20s. You know, history just repeats itself and it won't stop until you stop and fix it, right? Till you find content like mine, channels like mine, and you, you stop doing what you're doing <laughs> that is ruining your relationships, right? But uh, that is how I initially got involved in game and pick up artistry uh, by going out there trying to find a wife and then it led to this crazy lifestyle of constantly picking up girls. Um, I think what happened to me was the last relationship where I was like, I'm just done with this for a while, I just wanna do my own thing was, and I've talked about this on my channel, was uh, my la the last girl who dumped me in 2006. That was my last like quote unquote official girlfriend. So once we broke up in 2006, um, I made it a point to where I just didn't even want a relationship, even though I was able to get them. I mean, a lot of girls I you approach in field, when they like you, they'll just they'll just be down to be your girlfriend. They'll be down to just jump in a relationship with you. And shockingly, most of them will be down to marry you. Even it's insane how easy it is to get married. Um, it's so it's so easy to get married, and it's not like my my previous girlfriends that I was dating early on, even those relationships I fumbled, it wasn't like they didn't want to get married because they would have, okay? They would have early on in the relationship, just like any of your relationships. Usually in the beginning of the relationship when things are going well, the girl is totally down to get married, believe it or not. It's just when things start to go south, when you're together for too long or you start to lose value in her eyes, that's when she's out the door, right? So a lot of those girls I dated back then were totally down to get married early in the relationship, but I didn't want to get married that quickly. I wanted to see how things played out. That is what happened. And then uh, 2006, as you guys know, that was the last girl who dumped me. Um, and that was that moment where I just decided I was going to go red pill and I stopped being blue pill. And also during that time, uh, I also just decided I didn't want to be in a relationship anymore. I just, even though I could have them, I didn't want one. I just wanted to game. I just wanted to do pickup. So for several years after, after that happened in 2006, I dove deep into pickup and deep into game and deep into cold approach. Uh, I found a whole set of new wingmen. I moved to Los Angeles and I was doing pickup and game 24 seven. It's doing it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, so much so that I turned it into a business teaching other guys how to do it. A very successful business. Uh, turned it into a successful YouTube channel teaching guys lessons that I had learned from the field, from decades of picking up women, beautiful women. Uh, I'm still teaching to this very day, but uh, that is how I initially got involved in this crazy space uh, known as pickup artistry, right? And back then there was no name for it. Like I said, it wasn't until mainstream internet came out, uh, probably in like the like late 90s that I started to see like pickup artist forums evolve, right? And there was this one called uh, 
alt fast seduction that I was a part of. I used to post my infields on that. And then there was another one called so suave that I was also a part of. Uh, but that's where like the very early roots of the uh, pickup community came about. That is how I got involved in it. And that is how I just kind of dived headfirst into this crazy lifestyle. Uh, it's been amazing. I love my journey. I don't regret it. I mean, beyond just all the attractive and gorgeous women that I've dated, uh, I've met so many cool guys. I've met so many high value guys in field. Even before I started my, my YouTube channel, I was meeting a lot of uh, just really, really awesome guys. Guys with good jobs, guys with great careers, guys who were on their path and purpose, guys who just wanted to get better at picking up women. And they found me or they would see me at the same venues over and over and then they started hiring me. And then finally the light bulb popped in my head. And I was like, oh, I could create a business around this. And I started my YouTube channel and then that took off very, very quickly actually. I remember when that first took off and uh, turned it into what it is today, where it's a successful business. I've got students all around the world. I uh, get hundreds of thank you comments, messages, DMs, like every single day from you guys, which I, which I appreciate. Always happy to share the knowledge and have really kind of just helped build this community of men for which is now known as the Manosphere. And um, I'm happy to be a part of it. I've moved on to other businesses these days. I've acquired other businesses that are successful. I don't need to do this anymore, but I continue to do it because I love it that much and I love teaching. I, I continue to love meeting other guys in field who are doing the same thing, other guys who want to learn, how, who want to become better, um, who want to stop being blue pill and want to go red pill. Um, I, I just love being part of the Manosphere. So I kind of feel like we have this little community of uh, 007s and we're all kind of just learning. But uh, that is my crazy story about how I became a professional pickup artist and I ended up teaching and instructing and uh, I've helped out with other uh, top pickup company boot camps as well. Back in the day, I don't do that anymore, but uh, I'm just focused on my own business these days. It's funny, from time to time, I'll get a hater like commenting like, when are you just gonna retire from this? Pickup is a young man's game, when are you gonna retire? And it's like, dude, that's how I know you don't go out. That's how I know you don't go out and you're like sitting at home with your laptop on your lap and your pants down watching Pornhub because if you did go out, you would know that the best guys out there are generally guys who are older. And that's what I found too, because we have the most experience with this. We're kind of like seasoned Jedi's when it comes to pickup and game. Whereas young guys just coming into the space, they don't have that solidity to their game yet. They're just full of energy and running in 10 different directions, but they don't have like a solidity a groundedness, a centeredness to their game, or even their persona and their character yet. That needs to be developed through time, through years of going out. So, uh, yeah, it's funny, I always get these days. What do you get to retire, what do you get to retire? I'm like, dude, uh, you might as well just take a nap because I ain't retiring for a while. It'll be at least a good decade. I can definitely do this for at least another decade, probably longer. In the future, I get a lot of questions like, you know, would I settle down with one person? And I've never had anything against that. You know, this whole time I've been doing game and pickup, I've never really had anything against that. It's just, you know, I choose to be single when I'm single. And when I choose to be in a relationship, that is something I choose voluntarily. And the difference between me versus most guys out there is I choose the girl I'm gonna be with out of abundance. And I always pretty much have. That is probably the, the biggest advantage of learning pickup and game is you choose, you choose these girls out of abundance versus scarcity. Because most of your guy friends that are jumping into these LTRs or getting married, getting engaged, I guarantee these guys are picking that girl out of scarcity. It's because they don't have any other options. I can tell you right now where those relationships are gonna end up. Like what, once you pick a girl out of scarcity and you don't have any other options and she knows that, yeah, it's just a matter of time. Your days are numbered. Your days are numbered with that chick. Uh, but when you choose a girl out of abundance, just by default, you will always have the power in that relationship. You will always hold the value in that relationship. The girl, you'll always be the one to walk away from her first, put it that way. She won't be the one dumping you, you'll be the one dumping her. All right, so a lot of great things come out of choosing a girl out of abundance, which comes from learning pickup, learning game, having a life, and the whole nine, right? And just touching back on those haters, by the way, because whenever I do one of these like 
how I became a professional pickup artist or what I learned from approaching, you know, 10,000 women in field or three decades in game, I always get one or two haters who'll drop a comment and be like, what a waste of life. Dude, picking up girls, you're all like, what a waste. And it's like, that's how I know you're a chump. That is how I know you're a chump. It's like, dude, if you're like seriously sitting here and you have the time to drop hater comments, um, you're the type to watch porn, right? You're the type to like fap to get by. You're the type that doesn't date hot women. You're the type that doesn't explore humanity. You're the type that isn't out there meeting cool dudes. You're the type that doesn't go out because for a lot of these guys who hate like that, they tend to think of it like, oh, you got nothing out of this rather than just banging hot women. And it's like, dude, are you kidding? That was just an advantage of doing game. I've always said this, that pickup in game is the number one best form of self-development that any man, any man with balls can learn, okay? Because it will teach you social skills that no other form of self-development can possibly teach you. It will teach you self-awareness. It will teach you confidence. It will teach you to overcome your insecurities. It will teach you how to connect with people and not have that social awkwardness or feel socially awkward when you just talk to a stranger. I'm not even kidding when I say this. It will teach you multi-million dollar skills that school, college, university will never be able to teach you. I mean, I credit getting these six-figure jobs that I had in corporate America, back when I worked for corporate America. I worked for a few Fortune 100 companies where I was making six figures, I was driving a top-down Mercedes, uh, whereas six months beforehand, I was broke. I was like barely scraping by, and then I was able to get these incredible jobs, meet incredible people. I was able to beat out like thousands of candidates to get this job thanks to my pickup and gaming skills. No different from when I was building my business. What kept pushing me? What made, gave me the skill to build such a successful business, a successful YouTube channel, and meet just tons of high value guys all around the world, travel the world, create like memories and experiences that most people will never experience themselves. Pickup, game, that's what, this, that's, that's what it got me. It got me a lifetime of memories. I mean, if I were to die tonight, if I were to die tomorrow, I would die knowing that, hey, I lived an incredible life. I lived an amazing life. I met just some absolute phenomenal people, both male and female. I dated gorgeous women. I built a successful business. I touched guys' lives around the world, hundreds of thousands of guys. You know, we get hundreds of thank you comments messages, DMs, even handwritten letters from guys all the time. Tons of guys are always dropping comments like, hey, thank you, you saved my life. And I was about to commit suicide, oh my God, I'm so glad I found you. Or oh, I saved my marriage, uh, or I met my future wife because of you and I didn't have to settle for some like, you know, 49 or it's like all because of you. And these are all the lessons that I learned through three decades of pickup and game. And these are all the rewards that I got as a result of it. So whenever I get those guys like, oh, what a waste of life. It's like, dude, you're pathetic if you think that all it was about was like banging women. If you're pathetic, if you thought I even got into it for that. I mean, I really, again, I got into it because I was trying to find a wife. I was trying to get married and it didn't work out early on. And then it just got to the point where I'm like, screw this. I just, I'm just gonna do pickup then. I'm good at this. I just wanna explore humanity. And I just wanna push these sets as far as I can to see what I could get away with. I wanted to see like, how far can I push the game? Um, how far can I push myself? How far can I push the boundaries of social normalcy? But it's been amazing, man. It's been amazing. And uh, I've been blessed with an amazing life thanks to pickup game. God, right? I've been blessed. I mean, like sitting here in my Range Rover, I just filmed in my DeLorean uh, the other day. I'm shopping for a Lambo right now. I'm like building out my studio and my house. I'm actually looking to buy another house right now. Uh, my business is growing every single year. I'm getting way more subscribers than I ever thought I would. Our business is doing phenomenal. And most of all, I'm getting more thank you messages, comments, and DMs than ever before from you guys. Again, it's all because of pickup and game, man. So <laughs> there's your waste of life. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. And if you enjoyed that coaching video, don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, make sure you 
hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. And more importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Very important you subscribe. Helps me out a ton. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, best way to do that is to jump into seven months of mastery. Right now it's only a buck. So click that link below and it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. Just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.